Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my replay of Jessica Rabbit 2 for the PC. So now I'm gonna be tossing the salad. I know. Well, that's the name of the level, so don't blame me. So yeah, this is technically the second area of this first episode. And already running into enemies because apparently I like to do that. Honestly, I have very little memories out of this game. I mean, of this... The details on these levels, or this game in general. I played it after Just Rogue 1, of course, the, the original playthroughs. But I don't know, I, it's like I played it through very fast, and I didn't really pay attention to the details. Or didn't enjoy as much as I... For me to remember things in such detail. I know there is a way to get this extra life, um, I guess by jumping on that thing. You get also score by getting an extra life. Hmm. A flame weapon can be used to melt ice. Okay, this is a frozen springboard. And it's just enough to use a little bit of it. I got another extra life. I need to break one of these crates, special crate in order to Activate some blocks. It's a switch. They call a switch. And grab some of the coins. I would like to show you at least once how this bonus teleport thing works. You always are asking a minimum amount of coins. Which is basically as many coins as you can grab on the way through. But I usually don't make it. But I would like to show you once at least how it looks like. One of these fruits can easily give me the sugar rush. Remember, the sugar rush is the invincibility name to this game. I remember you were able to use those uh, propellers from the enemies to, to get upwards and grab shit. That's the main point. So what am I eating? Lettuce? Well, rabbits love that shit. I have rabbit at home, remember that. Well, you still have two, one of them died a few years ago. I'm curious, what's on this side? Because I already got it to the checkpoint, that means I've been going through the right way. Could be some interesting secrets? Oh, okay. A goodies, basically. Remember, I can do this super jump by holding down plus the jump button. What's over here? Golden coin. And probably at the very top? Okay, no. I thought it was a teleported thing. Remember that you can find one of those in very specific spots. Here's the thing I told you about. Yeah, you have a few seconds to get up there. I guess that's the whole point is to get all that fruit. And the diamonds. Goodies, basically. But yeah, I was I was really looking for silver coins. Honestly, I cannot still tell the difference between the golden ones and the silver ones for the total amount. So yeah, this is our friend the parrot from the first game, but looks like he's got a gun. On the bird's head. How do I get down here anyway? Aha, like this. Oh, uh, I think, yeah, the golden coin pretty much adds extra amount of zero coins to a total amount. Flamethrower. I got plenty of it. He's got a double shot in this game, the pirate only got one. Which was very useful against enemies in general, but this one looks, I don't know, kinda cooler. It's my opinion though. Activate some blocks. I already got the full health, I was losing quite a bit of it at first. 
Oh, wait, the bullets from the bird maybe get, get the checkpoint and stuff? Okay. You don't need to touch it directly. Apparently just by shooting at the checkpoint you are able to... Uh, okay, I guess the whole point was to get the carrot. That was weird, I went through the log. Aha! Yeah, it, it's added to a total amount, 23. I really hope they don't ask so many coins for you for me to be able to see that thing. Bonus game, I mean. I already got the total amount, yeah, 99 flame. Fair enough. There must be a way to get that extra life. I probably have to deactivate this block somehow. I have enough lives, I think. Aha, how many? It's asking for 20, that means I will be able to make it. See? This is how it works. Some of your booty to exit. Yeah, but let me get some stuff first. Oh, this is a different type of flame, or this is the same? Yeah, it, it's like an improved version. Yeah, it's a more powerful flame. Okay, it's the same flame I was having before. I got an extra life again. Try to go carefully in order to get things. Dude, that little propeller thing doesn't last longer than two seconds. There's no time to see pretty much where you want to go through or, or what way to take. How far from the exam am I? Certainly takes some time to... Wow. Yeah, I lost the bird because I got bombed. Yeah, seven minutes, a single level. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing more than two areas in each individual video. Anyways. I'm not even asking for more. Remember, this game is somehow shorter than the first game. I'm talking about the main game, of course. There's extra episodes. The Secret Files, specifically. Ap apart from the holiday things. Actually, the holiday here for this game, uh, I did it on... Last Christmas, I did a live stream of it on it, and it's available on Chilean Ruto Gamer TV YouTube channel. Is there any point to do this anyway? Uh, probably not. Hey, fast fire, rapid fire, as it was called in the first game. Oh shit! Extra flame that I don't need. Well, besides, I haven't seen so many enemies. Again, emphasis on the amount only. Yeah, the flame is necessary for this, maybe, but... It doesn't use more than one shot. Got mo some more of the launcher. Actually, it's the first time I get the launcher. Okay, that carrot looks different. That means that's the one that gives you full health. Getting some of the regular carrots too, of course, they work. They help. And here's our checkpoint. Another one. Let's throw our carrots. That looks like... A switch must be pressed. Yeah, I saw this coming. Oh, you shoot it. Okay, then you get all the other diamonds. I see how it is. Should be a way to teleport back, or maybe... Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Yeah, okay, golden coins are worth five of the regular ones. But I haven't grabbed any silver one either, so... Which usually come in... A bunch of them. Golden coins come individually for the most part, if not all the time. Oh, you can shoot upwards! I didn't quite remember that. So, apparently... By killing that enemy with the propeller thing in a particular way... Oh, here it is. That's weird. I lost it. Oh, wait. I should be able to make it to the next platform. No, I can't. Uh, does the enemy respawn? Or maybe does the propeller thing respawn? Yeah, it does. 
Okay, I see, I see. It will last for as long as you need, as long as you don't touch the ceiling. If you do, that thing will disappear. No, it doesn't last that long anyway, but yeah. It, it does l last longer if you don't touch the ceiling or if you don't touch anything. Probably including a, a wall. I'm using the Sugar Rush to make some progress, even if... Again, this is not so crowded with enemies for me to be so worried about dying because of me getting hit by enemies so often. I saw the exit. Oh no, it's just information sign. Aha! Just 11. I, I don't think it's gonna ask so few coins for so few coins. Shields will give you unlimited special ammo for a short time. Stopwatches will add time to the life of a shield. I don't remember seeing this so much. Let me go to the other side. Yeah, there is a timing up there. Yep. This is precisely what I wanted. Extra coins. Yeah, you can take hits. Basically, that's what it is. <laughs> How do I make it through? Curious. Aha, uh -huh, teleporter. Yeah, so this is coming. I have 20. Okay, this could be useful if I eventually want to... I don't know if it's gonna ask for 20 to begin with. Okay, there is a switch that is asking for me to press. There's the crate. So let me see. Aha, uh -huh, another teleporter with another coin thing. In before, it's gonna ask for 30. Wait a minute, did I get to the place I wanted to? No. There's another crate. So yeah, this is for the special ammo. And here we have some boxes with diamonds. Yeah, taking a look at some bonus areas, bonus secrets, whatever you wanna call them. Okay. Okay, I made it. Nice. Two consecutive bonus games being obtained. I mean, not bonus game, but you know, bonus room. Literally, it's just a room. Apparently, if you destroy the enemy and not the propeller, the propeller will be there. Or, or maybe it will depend on the location, as I thought at first. I already got killed my fucking bird. Seriously. You video game. Yeah, levels are very long. I didn't remember this lo uh, levels being this long. It's not a complaint, by the way. I'm just surprised. That's all there is to it. Okay, let me get back to get the carol because you never know. I I'm no, I know I'm pretty close to the end. Oh wait, where, where in? Uh, wasn't there supposed to be a boss at the end of each area? Yeah, there is. Oh, wait. Special launcher. <laughs> Apparently this launcher is better than I thought. Is it me or this boss is easier than the first one? Wow, this Schwarze Guard is toast. Yeah, seriously, that was way easier than this big woman. Okay, yeah, this is a, a similar level to the one we saw in... Um, in the shareware episode. Okay, I'm done for the time being. Next time, I should be completing the first episode of this game. Remember, I'm playing the main game right now. Thank you for watching.